Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic recording and editing on Audacity. Okay, let's get started. So if you've watched the previous videos then Audacity should be installed on your computer and ready to go. So let's uh, double click on our icon on the desktop here. Okay, now this is your basic window on Audacity. Now the first thing we need to do is check that Audacity is receiving our signal from our recording device. So as you can see, I'm using a microphone here. Now you either may have a microphone or you might be using your onboard um, microphone in your computer. Um, you may have a separate interface which the microphone is plugged into. So we just need to select that to make sure that Audacity is seeing our signal. So at the top here, you'll see there are various uh, different options for here for inputs and outputs. So this is this is the um, at the moment this is the this, the standard setup, and it should Audacity when you open uh, open Audacity it should default to whatever your computer's um, defaults are. So you can check to see if Audacity is receiving an audio signal by clicking up here in the monitor button. So if I click on this and click start monitoring, now you can see that the meter is um, moving in time with my voice. Now that means that Audacity is seeing my microphone and receiving the signal. So if I go to here, for example, this is the driver that you're using. Um, I don't usually touch that, I just leave it as it is. And here I've got the options for my, like the different input options um, for my sound card and for the, you know, for the computer. Now I'm using my, um, this is my interface here. So it's analog one and two. And I'm going to record one channel at a time. So I'm going to record one mono recording channel. And this is the output of Audacity. And it's going to my um, my interface again, which my headphones are plugged into. So again, if I click, click here, start monitoring. Now, Audacity is now seeing my voice. So let's do a little test recording. So all I need to do is literally press record. This is a test recording to check my audio levels are correct. Now, I press the record button to start and then I press the space bar to stop recording. Now, as you can see, it's created a, a little audio file here. Now, if I click, I hover over the bottom of the bar here and drag up and down, I can increase the size of the, the waveform to make it easier to look at. Um, and we can play that back if I hit the space bar to play again. This is a test recording to check my audio levels are correct. Now, as you can see, the the, the level of this recording is, uh, it looks on looks quite low. Now if I go back to start monitoring again, let's have a look. Now ideally with when you're talking, your normal speech, you want to be somewhere up around here for your input level. So if, you're, if your device, your, your, um, your microphone uh, or your interface has a, a gain control in it, you can adjust it up or down so that um, it's, it's sitting round about the this 12 to nine minus nine now what you don't want is for it to be clipping up here at zero so if i try to talk really loudly uh, i can't even get it up there um but if it's too loud then you'll get a red warning symbol at the top here so ideally you want to be just um where it turns where the, the bar turns from green into yellow and that's a good place to be with normal speech so now that we've recorded a bit of audio i'm just going to highlight that if i double click on this so that's highlighted, I can delete it. So we can do another recording. So let, let's uh, go again. So again, if we just press record, this is a recording to test if my audio levels are correct. I press the space bar again, and if I want to listen to that, I press the space bar. This is a recording to test if my audio levels are correct. Now, wherever you hover in this top bar here, this is your timeline, if I click here, to test if my audio levels are correct. So you can play back sections of the audio to listen to it. Test of my audio levels are correct. Now, up here you've got a range of um, tools that you can use um, for editing and, and working with your files. Now, at the moment, I've got this selected on the, the, the horizontal, um, uh, sorry, the vertical icon there. Now, this is my selection tool. Wherever I click in this file, you see that the cursor will drop. So if I click there and hit the space bar, to test of my audio levels are correct. There you go, so you play back from that section. So let's say you've recorded an article. This is a recording to test if my audio levels are correct. And you've made a mistake. In fact, let's record another article and I'll make a deliberate mistake. So I double click on that and I'm going to hit the delete button and it's gone. Okay. This is a test test to see if my audio levels are correct, correct. Okay, so if we play that back, hit the space bar. This is a test test to see if my audio levels are correct, correct. So we want to get rid of some of those mistakes there. Now what we can do, if we want to zoom in and see these uh, these sections more clearly, let's let's drop the cursor where the mistake is. 
This is a test test. Okay, so let's get rid of the second test. So if I drop the cursor there, and then I click on the um, zoom in um, icon. Now, if I right click, oh, sorry, if I left click, I will zoom in. If I right click, I will zoom out. And as you can see, the waveform gets bigger there. Now we want to get rid of the second test, which is a mistake. Test, to test. Okay, now what we can do, if we go back to the vertical icon, and if we click on the wave file and just drag across, and we hit the delete key, you'll see that that disappears. Now, if we zoom back out again, if we click on here and we right click, and we're gonna click uh, the vertical icon again, drop the cursor there and go. This is a test to see if my audio levels are correct. Okay, cool. Now, if you've done the edit and you don't like it, you can always undo it by hitting Control Z. So Control Z is undo, and that will bring your file back. So let's just do that edit again. As you can see, it's highlighted. So I'm just going to hit the delete key again. So that's gone. Now let's get rid of get rid of the second mistake there to see if my audio levels are correct. Correct. Okay. Now let's get rid of the first one. So we drop the cursor. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Click on there. Left click to zoom in, and click on the vertical icon. I'm going to drag to highlight that, and then we hit delete. Now we're going to zoom out again. So we're going to click. Uh, going to right click to zoom out. Um, Click on the horizontal, uh, sorry, the vertical icon again, uh, and click the start of the file and play it back. This is a test to see if my audio levels are correct. Oh, now you can hear there's a little bit of a hitch there. The levels are correct. So let's un undo that, and we'll do that again. So we're going to zoom in again. Left click to zoom in, and we're going to click on the vertical icon just to place our cursor. Our correct. Uh, let's. Um, move back a little bit. Uh, click and correct, 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 correct. Okay, so there's the T that we've missed last time. So if we, using our vertical icon, click, drag, and we'll drop it there, and we'll delete that. Let's zoom out a little bit. So right click to zoom out. Drop the cursor just before. Levels are correct. Perfect. My audio levels are correct. Now, at the end of your file, you can see there's obviously like a, there's a big gap here where I've finished speaking. Now, ideally, we don't really want huge gaps at the start and the end of our file. So what we can do is the same thing as we did to delete the um, the mistakes in the middle. Is we'll click at the start. I'm going to drag forward and click uh, hit delete button again. So that's got rid of that. And then we can click here and drag outwards to delete as well. Okay, I like to put a little bit of a fade in or fade out on my um, audio tracks um, just to clean it up at the start and the end. So if we zoom in here, I'm going to zoom right to the start. Now if we go, oops, I'm uh, just going to scroll to the start here and zoom in a little bit. So we're left clicking with the zoom tool. Now if we take our, um, our, our vertical selection tool and we click on the start of the file and we drag forward. Now what we're going to do is we're going to Go for effect and adjustable fade. Now, this will give us uh, like a, a, an option for fading up or fading down. It's just turning the volume up and um, really gradually at the start of the file to prevent any like hard pops and clicks. So let's fade up for the intro and hit OK. Now that should put it, should have put a wee fade in there. You can't really hear that, but let's uh, go back to the start of the file. This is a test to see if my audio levels are correct. Okay, and now we're going to do the same for the end. So let's zoom out. Okay, so we're just going to highlight this end section here. And we're going to go for effect. I'm going to go for adjustable fade. And we're going to go for fade down. Okay, now I've got listen. We're correct. Okay, now let's say we have... Uh, we want to put a little gap in the middle of our recording. So perhaps the, the phrasing is too tight and you want to sort of just put a little gap in there. Now, if we just choose where we want to put, a, we're going to split the file and move it and we just need to choose the point where we want to split it. So I'm just going to go back to the start and listen to, if we click here on the left, these are the um, uh, jump features. So you can jump to the start or jump to the end of your audio file here by clicking left or right. Um, you can all also click play and pause and stop by using these buttons, um, but I'm using the space bar for play and stop, just because it's easier and it's under my, you know, I don't have to mouse around all the time. So, <coughs> excuse me. 
Fit play. This is a test to see if my audio levels are correct. So let's say I want to put a little split in there. So if I go to my file, drop my marker, and I go to edit, clip boundaries, split. Now this splits the audio into two separate files. So if I can click on there, you see these are two separate files now. Now if I want us to move these apart, if I go to the move tool, and then grab the file I want to move, I'm going to move it across, then if I play it from the start again, now you can hear that the, the, the audio has been separated out. This is a test to see if my audio levels are correct. Okay, now let's say that I want to actually, I've got a, too much of a gap and I want to bring these files together. Now if I click and I drag these files here, and if I, if I select them, oops, sorry, I'll go to my select tool. I'm going to highlight over that section and I'm going to go for effect and go for crossfade clips. Now what that's done is it's faded one clip out and faded the next one in to join them together to make a nice smooth join as opposed to a, a hard clip. So if we go back to the start and listen to that. This is a test to see if my audio levels are correct. So this is, with this you can record a section of an article you can pause for a second, uh, if you've got something to do, come back, record another bit, record another bit, and then you can move the articles together and adjust their spacing and the time so that it all seems like it flows together uh, as one single piece. Okay, so that just about covers the basics of editing on Audacity. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to check the levels of your audio files, and I'll show you how to perform noise reduction if your file is excessively noisy, and how to export your file into the two formats we use with Q and Review, Print Speaking to the Blind Service. Okay, thanks for listening.